is over on the village watch side of the habitat. There's a window viewing area over there. So if you want to head down that way to get a good look at the girls, you can. So you might wonder what um, North American Keeper is doing over here on this side of the park. And that's because our cheetahs are honorary North American animals. Back about 10 to 12,000 years ago, cheetahs actually roamed America and they would hunt species such as pronghorn. So they have since become extinct and they are only now located in Africa and there is a small population out in Iran. So their numbers are diminishing out in the wild and there's survival program and what that is is it breeds ex or endangered or threatened animals to keep their populations up so if any situation happens where the cheetahs out in the wild continue to drop in population then we can work <coughs> on continuing to breed them and keep their species alive at least in human care so they don't go completely extinct just out a little bit and so that really helps them with traction and I kind of compare it to like um, the, the uh, football players cleats you know how they have those um, spikes down at the bottom which really helps them run and turn and be able to stop really quickly a couple of other characteristics that I like to point out are their if you look under their eyes, they have a dark black line that goes from their inner tear duct down to their mouth, and that helps with reflection since they are, um, they hunt during the day for prey. So that just helps the sun bounce off of their face and not go into their eyes. It's 
kind of like their own personal sunglasses. Cool. And the tip of their tail, how it's white, they actually use that when they have young. And if you look at their habitat, it's very tall, grassy. Um, that's kind of, it resembles how they would, where they would live out in the wild as well. So their cubs can follow behind and see mom's tip of the white tail and kind of follow her through the tall grasses. So they eat every day. They eat three times a day we feed them three to four times a day, and a lot of people wonder what we do feed them, and they eat a, a um, ground meat diet. And this ground meat is already loaded with muscles, tendons, ligaments, bones, along with the meat. So it actually really does resemble what they would eat in the, in the wild. And it's specifically made for large feline carnivores, such as the cheetahs. We've also started to feed them some rabbit lately, and um, they also get bones once a week. And that, they really love to tear those bones apart. And that just really helps with their teeth care as well. And so they each get vet checks once a year annually. They'll get a full knockdown exam, x-rays and everything, teeth cleaning once a year but we work with training, training our cheetahs so we can get an up close and personal look with them every single day to make sure that they're healthy throughout the year. And we do this with their meat diet. So we're always protected contact with our cheetahs, which means that we won't ever share the same space with them. So we're always protected by a chain link fence in a different space. And so if you ever see a human or a animal care keeper out on the habitat, you will not see the cheetah on the habitat as well. So the cheetahs are locked out behind the scenes and that allows us to kind of come in and clean their space. And then we bring the cheetahs back out. I just wanted to thank everybody again for coming out to the cheetah chat. I'll hang out here for another couple of minutes. If you have any questions, you can feel free to approach me and ask. Thank you again. Have a great day.